In the name of the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Please be seated. Today, we continue with the personal testimonies from members of the congregation as a preparation of our Harvest Sunday. But before um, this uh, personal testimony, I would like to share with you some thoughts about this uh, feast, All Saints Feast. The Episcopal Church at the 2003 convention, general convention, approved a new annual calendar of saints in the general convention 2003. This new calendar sought to include more updated list of saints that was representative of the new times. Bishop Oscar Romero from El Salvador was included in that list of the new saints. The new calendar was, was titled A Great Cloud of Witnesses. This phrase Cloud of Witnesses is taken from the book of Hebrews in chapter 12, verse 1. The calendar is not perfect. There were mistakes and some liturgical errors in the new calendar. However, the intention to celebrate the life of these witnesses of the faith is that bring us together today. So today we celebrate a great feast, All Saints Day. It is a festival of great importance for our lives, for the life of the church and the world. Not only do we remember people who have lived exemplary life and who the church recognize as saints, but we also remember all kinds of saints who guide us in faith. Our holy friends or relatives, holy co-workers, holy neighbors, holy members of the congregation, holy families. At the same time also, we are invited today to renew the call that God make us to live a life of holiness. The phrase, a great cloud of witnesses, is very significant. It is enough for us to recognize the importance of clouds in our daily lives. Clouds provide us with relief from the intensity of the sun. Cloud protect us from the rays of sun and refresh the environment. Clouds are responsible for storing and bestowing the blessing of rain. And that rain fertilizes and gives life to our lands and crops. Clouds are also, my dear brothers and sisters, a symbol of the presence of God. The book of Exodus remind us that in the form of a cloud, God accompanied and led the Hebrew people towards their liberation. The saints whom we celebrate today, with their example of life, lighten our world for this world. And they fertilize and give life to our faith and Christian commitment. These saints are for us that spiritual cloud that show us the path to follow so that, so that we do not lose the duration, so we can continue forward despite the trials in life. My dear brothers and sisters, this Saints, all these saints, all these great club of witnesses, 
inspire us to be better and better every day. That is our challenge. We cannot be the same person that we were yesterday. We are encouraged to be better and better and better every single day in our life. To love despite the presence of hatred. To forgive despite resentment. To bring peace in the midst of violence. And to live our lives as a disciples of Jesus. Amen.